like i set my mind to it that even if i faint i will stand up i will continue this keto i don't care my mind was made up so welcome to my channel my name is Tevi Banjo I am a youtuber in Lagos Nigeria and if it's your first time here welcome and if it's not your first time here thank you so much for clicking on this video and please give the, give this video a thumbs up and without further without further ado <laughs> let's just get right into today's video so if you've been trying so much if you've been trying so hard to lose weight you've done keto like i did you've done keto you've done paleo you've done vegan you've done low carb and you still can't lose weight and you're wondering what's going on is it my body is it some type of you know village people that are following me here is the right channel here is the right video for you you are in a good place because you click this video i'm going to break it down to you and explain why you can't lose weight after trying all this and so much more so number one reason would be could be because of the fact that your mental health is not in the right place you might not know it i mean it might not be so obvious so you might be thinking oh i'm fine so therefore you might be thinking oh, it's not just to lose weight it's just it's not just my body meanwhile you do not know that your mind is connected to your body so whatever you power your mind to do is what your body is going to you know move towards so if you're for instance if you haven't programmed your mind to lose weight your body might not respond i know it might sound weird but you have to program your mind to do so so also when you try to like fall off your um, diet just the fact that your mind has been programmed to you know lose weight and be conscious of the fact that you're not meant to eat certain things you will not be you'll not be indulging in things that you are meant to be eating on your diet okay so make sure your mental health is in place next will be the fact that that, uh, if you're like me and you are an emotional eater just last month when i lost my instagram page my phone broke and so many horrible and terrible things were happening to me back then thank god i'm in a better place right now i mean i was eating anything i know you hear this a lot oh i'm an emotional eater some people just use it as an excuse but the fact is i did not even know i was an emotional eater until i was eating anything that comes my way i'm opening the fridge every two minutes once i'm done eating i want to eat something again and that's because it was comforting and i was just watching movies you know eating and it was giving me joy my dopamine level was boosted and i realized i was an emotional eater so if you're someone who is an emotional eater make sure you try and take care of that try and like sit down get things right with your mind again make sure you get things right in your mind and try to calm down find what the solution to that problem will be because food will just come and go and before you need you're done eating and i gained weight just this period of eating um, terrible food i mean it was terrible food because imagine me snacking on bread by like 12 p.m why should i be doing that from somebody who comes from a very very great discipline of food and what not to eat i will be eating bread by 11 p.m why should i be doing that so i was eating emotionally and you know eating away my sorrows and i gained about 5 kg so make sure everything is right with your brain okay all right so there's something called stress gains which i just explained to you right now stress will not make you lose weight why because if you're stressed your body will be taking time to you know calm you down and instead of your body trying to work on itself digesting food making you move forward in your in your progress or what you set your mind to do which would be weight loss stress is just going to hinder it my darling stress will hinder that process stress will hinder that preparation that that um that target you set yourself to 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 attain stress is going to hinder it so make sure you distress i mean look for other things you can do to take your mind off some things that are stressing you out or just look for a solution to whatever it could be that is stressing you out it could be your studies it could be your finances whatever it could be just take time out so you know solve that problem solve that issue and you calm yourself down bring yourself back to status quo let your body know you are in charge i mean take over your mind and once that happens your your stress level comes down the hindrance that is blocking your insulin from you know burning fat as it should burn fat 
we'll be back to normal okay so make sure you distress yourself it could be a relaxing pattern you will form for yourself it could be a day out it could be talking to people you know for me i love talking to people whenever i'm in a bad place i love just talking to somebody pouring out my heart venting and minutes later i feel so good so it, for you it could be relaxing it could be sharing with somebody please it shouldn't be eating it shouldn't be emotional eating it could be just taking yourself out making yourself feel good it could be watching movies and so on and so forth so make sure you find a way of distressing yourself i kind of emphasize that because it's very important as much as i'm trying to smile <laughs> it is important okay so the solutions to this is you should try and fast intermittently because when you fast intermittently your insulin goes down there and therefore your body needs energy it needs a source of energy probably from stored food or from fat in your body or from sugar in your body meanwhile if you haven't consumed sugar in a long time for like 16 to 17 hours and your insulin level goes down your body begins to use stored fat in your body to give you energy for your daily activities thereby you begin you begin to lose weight so you should try fasting intermittently and that way your insulin level will go down you'll be able to you know burn fat and probably clear your mind because you might not be thinking of food you might be consumed with your work and that way you might be able to relieve your stress yourself from stress or something uh, stressing you and you'll be able to progress on your fat loss journey also i would like you to kind of take control of your mind because like i said earlier your mind is connected to your body like this is so important i remember the first time i was on a keto diet the only thing that was sustaining me was my mind the fact that i was desperate like i knew i had to lose this weight no matter what it is like i set my mind to that even if i faint i will stand up i will continue this keto i don't care my mind was made up so try and connect your mind to your body that way both of them works together but if your mind is here and your body is here like it will be a constant struggle so you have to have to very importantly try and you know connect your mind with your body because i feel you can do anything with your mind once you once you set your mind to do something you might be hearing this a lot once you set your mind to do something you're going to achieve it yes you are so that's why i like to mentally prepare when i'm about to start a diet i like to mentally prepare as well as physically prepare again my stuff's ready you know so everything is like already prepared in your mind you know what you're going to do so make sure you kind of blend in your mind with your body and lastly is to be in control of your mind please be in control of your mind be in control of your thoughts if you're a christian like me pray to god to help you control your thoughts and pray for the holy spirit to direct you whenever you're thinking of things i mean if you're thinking of food you need to cast and bind it if you want to lose weight and you're thinking of ice cream you're thinking of shawarma you're thinking of spaghetti <laughs> you need to cast and bind it that is the only thing Thing i would like to, i'll have to say for now okay make sure you find a way of you know relieving yourself from all those bad thoughts you, all those temptating temptatious thoughts try and relieve yourself from them you need to be in control of your mind control your thoughts make sure you know if something is stressing you out look for ways by which you could distress yourself for somebody who is out there and maybe you do not know how you can relieve yourself of stress i mean you could google it there's nothing you cannot do with google and youtube so you could google it you could you could youtube it and funny enough you're going to come up with something like for me i said earlier it's either i talk to somebody or i eat and eating is not the good choice i mean so i like to vent i like to vent to somebody somebody to talk to who like really wants to listen to me and cares about what i have to say not just anybody so make sure you be in control of your mind be in control of your thoughts and that way you can program your mind program your thoughts to lose weight whenever you want to okay so with these few points of mind i hope i'm i hope i'm able to you know tell you why you aren't losing weight even as much as you've tried as much as you've you've, you've put your mind to it because when you're stressed you hinder like i said you hinder these hormones that are going to you know burn up your fat and your insulin will be doing some other work instead of you know sitting down where you're supposed to sit so 
if you enjoyed this video kindly give this video a thumbs up like i said earlier on and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please hit the subscribe button kindly hit the subscribe button probably this is not even your first video you're watching or you're going to watch another one okay whichever one it is please hit the subscribe button because i'll love you to join my family and i'll love to see you in my next one most definitely so stay blessed guys and bye Mwah.